Hello everyone, my name is Marcelo Gonçalves and this is my YouTube channel Time to Speak. I am not a teacher, I am a student like you, but I am here to share my experience in English. In all this time, I am saying about Cambly. For me, Cambly is the best platform to practice English because you can find a lot of tutors to teach English in the old time. And you can get right now 15 minutes to practice your English with the code time to speak. Use the code time to speak to get 15 minutes right now and you will practice your English, your pronunciation, your listen with native speakers. I had a wonderful conversation with Sasha. Sasha has a lot of years of experience teaching English with the Calum method. The Calum method is a famous method to practice and learn English. And in this conversation, you will learn a lot of things about Calum method. All right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Fine, thanks. I'm okay. And you, how are you doing? I am good too. I am good too. <laughs> I'm here to practice my English. Well, I was excited to talk with you because I am. I wanted to start in my English class with the Calum method, mm -hmm. and I know that you are a teacher, a professional teacher, and you teach Calum method, right? Mm -hmm, English right. with Calum method. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. All right. I have some some questions about Calum method mm -hmm. right and this will this is will be this will be good because uh, uh, i will ask you about some some things about Calum method and now i will learn a lot i am sure and after i will start my english my english class with the Calum method and i am excited for this so I have maybe I have three or four questions, easy questions for you. All right. Uh, about Calum method, how, uh, I need to have a material to study with my uh, Calum method. Right. Yes, there are twelve books, twelve stages. We 12 call them books. stages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have twelve stages. So starting from stage number one, and then you go upper. You have to listen to uh, audio files. Yeah, and during the lesson, you well, your books have to be closed. You don't have okay. to look at the book. Yeah, you just use them for reading. You just use them for reading. And the Kaplan method is a direct method, and it's a teacher-centered method where a teacher mm -hmm. explains everything to their students. A teacher is the one who asks questions constantly, and the teacher helps their students with their answers. Therefore, you're not worried. You don't have to worry about whether you make a mistake or not. And even if you make a mistake, uh, a teacher constantly corrects the student's mistakes. So you don't have to worry about that. Yeah, so all that's... Right. But, uh, yes, but uh, if I have... Uh, all right, I have the 12 books. Uh, sta you, you said stage one, two, mm -hmm. 12, all right? Yes, right. Okay. Is complete a collection, complete collection, right? Yes, right. Okay. Uh, if I have two or three years of of experience in English, I can uh, some. Uh, we have some method to. All right, you 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 uh, don't need start with stage one. You can of course. Can, so stage two, there is some, something about that or not? It's not is is very necessary to start with stage one. Uh, it's not necessary for you to start for a student to start from stage number one because if a student has um, well, first of all, a teacher has to estimate the student's level, and then he or she will uh, think about which method a student has to start from. Like, for example, if you have a B1 level already, you could start from stage number four, and then uh, you can go up. Because, of course, if a student makes uh, 
um, some mistakes. Uh, you don't need to go to stage number one and learn, you know, this is a pen or this is a pencil. You don't need to learn that if you already speak fluently. It's just if you make some mistakes, you can uh, then ask your teacher to help you with those mistakes. But um, the overall picture is that no, the answer to your question is no, you don't have to start from stage number one. You can start from stage number four, for example, if you have a B1 level. Mm -hmm. And uh, how much time I will, I will study for the 12 books? How much time, for example, maybe, I don't know, I can, I can read the, all books in one year, for example, or is not possible? Well, or first depends, of all, Okay, yeah, of course, of course it depends. It depends on many factors. Uh, first of all, it depends on uh, how much time you are ready to invest into your studies, how many classes a week you can have. If you'd say, for example, if you have two classes a week um, and then you will have, okay, I'll tell you. I have a student and uh, of course, as everybody else, she's an adult and she works every day and she has her own life, etc. So um, she has been right now, she studies stage eight and she's been studying with me for three years. Okay. Right. And she had her classes. She she have well, actually she has had her classes uh, twice a week. Okay. Um, what I can say is that, of course, sometimes, you know, there are some holidays and you have birthday parties, you have Easter or Christmas, or you just have a vacation where you're out somewhere. But the overall picture is that she had her classes twice a week and she's been... Mm -hmm studying for three years so far so basically uh they have yeah yeah they have in the color method they have their own um uh, methodology and they have their own um kind of understanding on uh, how many classes a week a student can uh, study and after that they decide with their teacher or what kind of um approach what kind of um system they will use to accomplish their goal so mm -hmm. let's say i have another um i have another friend and he teaches with this method and for example he has students who have their classes every day so you see that this this whole situation is different it's different hard different. to study every day yes. <laughs> but it's very necessary uh -huh. yes yes so mm -hmm. of course if a student studies every day then they will uh, achieve their goal faster. So you see, it's just, it depends. It's very personal. It's, it's, you it just, it depends on, on a student and how much time you want to invest in your English studies. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we will start with the, for example, we will start the first stage. All right. Mm -hmm. And okay. The chapter one, I don't know if uh, the book. Lesson have one. Chapter. We have lesson one. lessons. Yeah. Right. Lesson one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a one. All right. And uh, uh, first, I uh, the the student. All right, I am a student. I will. I need to read the book, and after I will have the class with my teacher, or I need to have the first uh, lesson with the teacher, and after I will use the book. Uh, first of all, you have to have books. You have to buy them, but the first lesson should be with the teacher and or with a teacher so the teacher okay. will explain will explain how this method works and the best way uh, of course for a student to understand how this method works is to either watch some demonstration videos of that teacher or just any demonstration videos um, and see how other students um, right. have their classes yes and then so the best way would be for for a student to be present, you know, in the classroom. If you have uh, the Callan Method School in your area, you can just call them. You can come and visit them and ask for uh, this opportunity to to come and be present in the lesson, just to see what's going on during the lesson. That would be time. an option. Hmm? How much time uh, in first first lesson with the teacher? 
Well, uh, you mean, do you mean like the, the lesson where you are already a student and you just come and sit and have your, your class, your lesson? Is that what you're, yes. you're saying? Yes, for, for example, no, no, yes, uh, actually how much timing in first lesson we have. So the lesson or lasts. The duration, maybe. Okay, the duration of a lesson is fifty minutes. You know, fifty and minutes. Fifty minutes. Wow, it's mm -hmm. quick. It's quick. Yes, yes. <laughs> but but you can have uh you know you can have two classes. You can have fifty minute and then two periods kind of. You can have one class, one fifty minute class, and then you can have another fifty minute class. So you can just um, in order to study faster, you can. Study. Okay, so have we have first in a you, row. You, all right, you said that during the the class, the book is closed. Yes, right. Yes, the book is closed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Fifty minutes with the book closed, right? Twenty-five minutes. Uh, well, the first part is questions and answers. During the first part, a teacher asks you questions. Um, mm -hmm. If you already know the material, I mean, if you're somewhere in the middle, I'm not talking right now about stage number one, it's a little bit different. Um, okay. So let's say you study, you are at stage number two or three or four or any other stage. So the first 25 minutes, it's just questions and answers. A teacher is constantly asking you questions and helps you with mm -hmm. your answers. That's how you practice your grammar. And then the second uh, part of it is just uh, then you have to write down a dictation and then you have to do the reading part. Uh, so, and the final part of the class is new work because mm -hmm. the principle is that 80% of uh, a revision and then 20% of new work, that's how you move. That's how you progress. All right. mm -hmm. Okay, and let's think, we, we, we finish our first lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, after I have, I will have some homework your homework will be to come back home and to repeat everything that you have had that you have studied during the class. So your homework oh. will be basically, yeah, your homework will be to open up your book, to read and repeat. And of course, audio files are very important. You have to listen to them every single day. You know, my principle, I say, I always say to my students, I say, if you listen at least five minutes a day, well, or maybe 10 minutes a day, you will succeed. You will have, you will be successful, and it really works. Wow. I see that for those Five students. Minutes. <laughs> you know, we are all busy people. I understand that, and the Callan method um, is focused on adults and on those people uh -huh. who don't have time. You know, who yes. don't have time. It's like me. Yeah. Right. It's like I see? five minutes per day. I am. <laughs> but I'm sure. Yes, I'm sure. If you look at your schedule, if if, if you look at your uh, daily agenda, you will find five minutes a day, or ten okay. minutes. Okay, maybe ten. But ten minutes. Yes, I have ten minutes too. <laughs> yeah. So what you have to do is just you have to listen and repeat. And my students say they say, okay, if I listen to the Callan method. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I become better. I am getting better and better and better and better. And for those students who don't find those five minutes a day, they, of course, yeah, they struggle. They say that, okay. um, yeah, something's so, missing. Like, okay, you need to listen to. Yes. So we finished our first lesson and I need you to uh, study uh, with my book every yes. day. Yes. Will 10 or 15 minutes, for example, I need to repeat our first English class, right? Right, right. And then you come again, then you come uh, to your, for example, Callan School, which you can find in your area, or you can find a registered teacher, or you can have uh, online classes as you wish. But yeah, then you will come to the lesson, uh, you will come to your class, and you will have your revision. And then some new work. So you will do 80% of your class will be your vision. So you mm -hmm. will repeat, repeat, and repeat. That's how it works. It's amazing where students uh, repeat constantly. That's how, because if they don't repeat at home, they repeat during their class. And during their I lesson. can do that uh, alone. All right, I need to to have a student, a friend to, to talk. No, no, right? you don't to need practice. to because there yeah. is an online. Yeah, by the way, if you have your phone with you, if you there is an application that you can wow. download into your phone, 
and you can use your uh, application and you can listen to audio files there. You can do some exercises Actually, there. You, that, have, you know, that's uh, how. It, all right, yeah. but this application is, is not free, right? <laughs> Uh, actually, well, actually, if you are a part of a school or if you have a registered teacher and you study with this teacher, the teacher will um, have this area. It's called the Callan application uh, area oh. where students can practice and you can practice. The teacher will give you the access to this area where you will, will practice. And that's how yes, you will get actually, it. I need to have I need to have the teacher. The, the the book mm -hmm. and the audio, right? It's right, right. Yeah, right. 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 Okay. okay, very good. So, all right, I can I, I will practice every day. And uh, how much English class I need to have with the teacher per week? What is the minimum? Or what is the enough? Or what is the best? Hmm. One, well, two, three every day. <laughs> All right. As far as I see, as far as my practice, um, well, of course, the more the better. Or how much dollars I need to have in my pocket? <laughs> <laughs> the more the better. Um, so twice a week would be um, would be in average, but if you have your classes at least three times a week or four times a week, that would be even wow, better. three yeah. times per week? But two yeah. times, uh, you know, oh. Marcelo, twice two? a week minimum. Twice minimum. a week minimum. Mm -hmm. One time per week is bad. It's not enough. I mean, if you are a very diligent student, if you uh, do, you know, if you listen to this uh, if you listen to these audio files every day, if you read the book, if you write down your dictations in your practice area, I mean, if you uh, practice, then okay, then I, I will see that your I will see your progress. So if you have your class once a week, and you will do everything the teacher tells you to in terms of your homework, etc. Then of course you will have your uh, progress and you will have good results because. I have had such a student too, so, but she's, she's amazing. Good. She does a lot. Yeah. I will, I will create a new, a new question for you. Okay. Uh, let me see my, it's, it's very important. It's very important. Um, but I don't remember. Unfortunately, <laughs> I am stay old. It's correct. I'm stay old. <laughs> no, I'm becoming. I'm getting old. I get. I'm getting. I'm getting to old. Get, yeah, I'm getting. I'm getting. Let me write it for you. I'm, I'm getting. Getting. <laughs> I'm getting old. Yes, I am. Ah, need. I need to use my glasses, right? <laughs> I have to wait, uh, wait hair, wait, white, white? <laughs> white hair. I I have white hair. I use it. I use glasses. I have problems with my memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! I'm getting old. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, Marcel. Okay. You're, you're doing a great job, actually. Everything Thank is you. fine. Just you're just fine. ask me. Yeah, ask me anything you want to ask. So, all right. Yeah. Uh, okay, Sasha. I have. I I know now uh, a lot of things about uh, the Kano method. It's very good. I really. I want to. I am excited to learn about that. But uh, let me let me ask you my my last my last question mm -hmm. uh, about every everyone. Every student can uh, start uh, with uh, st start to study to study to study mm -hmm. English with the method the Kalum method. Now, for example, I am beginner. Uh, uh, all beginner students can start it with the Kalum method, or is it necessary to to have some level more maybe more high in English? Mm -hmm. No, no, you don't need to. If you don't know, if you don't speak any English, 
uh, you can just start your lessons and the teacher will help you and the teacher will explain everything to you in English. You know, the teacher will explain different words um, using the gestures, like, for example, you know, if you want to say lawn, you just show lawn or short, you know, or you just say ball if you want to, to show, to explain some different nouns, words. So the teacher uses a lot of gestures. And of course, objects like pictures or like, you know, pencil, pen, right. yeah, book, etc. So yeah, the teacher helps all the time. For example, yeah. let me show you something. Let's say you don't speak any English. Let's say you don't understand everything, anything. Objects. Yeah, let's say you you understand nothing. What I do, let's just start. Let's right. just say, yeah, let's just say you don't know, you don't speak any English and you are a beginner. And this is your first class. Why not? Okay. Yeah, so just repeat after me. Pen. 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 Pencil. 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 Mm -hmm. Box. 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 Book. 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 Okay. Now, what's this? What's this? It's a it's a pen. What's this? It's a pencil. What's this? It's a box. What's this? It's a book. So now I'm going to ask you, Marcelo, what's this? What's this? It's a pen. Okay. And okay. So you say, it's a pen. One more time. What's this? What's this? It's a, it, it's a pen. Good, good. What's this? What's this? It's a, it's a pencil. Yes, great. What's this? What's this? It's a, it's a box. box. What's this? What's this? It's a book. Mm -hmm. You know, because of this Skype connection, we sometimes uh, are interrupted but well usually we have to speak faster so usually it works like that what's this what's this it's a pen what's this what's this it's a pencil what's this what's this it's a box what's this what's this it's a book okay so usually it's faster but we need to have more lessons to get mm -hmm. used to this method you know you have to understand oh okay i need to speak and faster i will memorize it this everything all right yeah mm -hmm. yeah yes yes and you will remember and we will do you know revision revision we will do a lot of repetition 80 percent revision 20 percent new work so you will remember these words constantly let me say i remember the question <laughs> <laughs> it's it's very important question uh more one minute um with the method, the column method, I can learn with 12 books, all right? And the, the teacher, obviously, obviously is a, is a word? No. <laughs> all right. Okay, no, no, no problem. I will ask you. And okay, with the column method, I can, I can study in 12 books with the teacher together. Uh, Grammar, pronunciation, and vocabulary. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, really? vocabulary. vocabulary yes. Too? yes, of yes. course, of course. Everything is enough, and I can study with the common method. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. So, wow. mm -hmm. because the Callan method books are full of questions. 
Mm -hmm. uh, this was stage, uh, the one that I have just shown you was stage number one, lesson one, the first page. So this is just the very, very beginning because your question was about beginners. But of course it gets more complicated. Like for example, you know, what's the difference between the present continuous and the present simple? The difference between the present continuous and the present simple is that we use the present continuous for an action we are doing now, whereas we use the present simple for an action we do generally. You know, so we learn these kinds of stuff. You know, we learn the differences. We learn, mm -hmm. uh, yes, we practice grammar, we practice vocabulary, and every time, because there are a lot of questions. So all of these tw stages, 12 stages are questions and answers. So you, mm -hmm. you kind of get, you, can, you, you get both. You, you, you hear a question and then you hear the answer and you know the correct answer. So mm -hmm. it's structured. Very good, Sasha. Thank you very much. Now Thank I you. know a lot of things about the Kano method. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how much I need to spend <laughs> to start about <laughs> to start study? How much I need to spend? <laughs> <It's> priceless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Sasha. Thank, thank you very you much too. for your help. I really, I need to say, it was very, very good. Or let me let me expand. Let me spend my vocabulary. Was Amazing, it was awesome <laughs> to, to talk with you. I'm really happy because when I received your message uh, and now, I don't know, it's correct. I meet you. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. It mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, was, was incredible. I, I, can I say it was incredible? Yes, you can say incredible. Incredible, yes, incredible, amazing, wonderful. A lot of words to say that. <laughs> Thank you very okay. much. Thank you very much. I just wanted to say that you are doing a great job with your channel and that I really love seeing your progress. You know, you ask a lot of questions, a lot of good questions. And uh, so thank you for that, that you are trying to improve your English and that you do that constantly. So you are a great example for many different students, many students around the world, just who struggle with their English, who want to learn, but they don't know how. So over here, you are really doing a great job in showing others that it can be easy and it can be interesting and fun. So thank you for that. You know, you are a true example. You are a true um, role model for many people. So mm -hmm. they, they will see your videos, they will watch them and they will have courage and they will have understanding and they will understand that they can do that too. They can learn English too. If Marcelo can do it, I can do it. Yes, we are together here. <laughs> Sasha, thank you very much. Okay? Thank you, uh... too.